It's Madden NFL 24, and the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Desperados and the Saints, and it's coming up next. From a city that has hosted 10 Super Bowls, here's a look inside the Caesar Superdome in New Orleans. Today, it's the opener of the 2023 NFL season, as it'll be the Desperados of San Antonio taking on the New Orleans Saints. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden, and Charles, there's nothing quite like it. That feeling of beginning another NFL season, and these two squads, they're going to do just that in a moment. And what makes it so exciting is the range of possibilities these teams have before them, because we could be seeing one of these teams. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. man who played collegiately at nearby Tulane, it's Tajay Spears. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Well, I think after that run, the defense getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them and do I have enough confidence to make a play? And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. On first and ten, it's Spears. Taken down by Pete Werner. But not the graphic that this fan base wants to see week one, Charles. They were hoping to see key acquisitions, some bright spots. Instead, we're talking about injuries, preseason injuries, that have guys missing here in this one. And even in today's football, where everyone does their best to try and have their starters ready for week one, guys still have to practice. They still have to train. And injuries do pop up. You're exactly right about that, though, Brandon. None of the people supporting this team wanted to see that graphic on the screen at the start of this game. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave them trying to convert on third and nine. They'll set up to throw. And he is caught. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. A third down gain of 19. Well, there you go, Charles, the first completed pass of his young career. And we expect it not to be his last. Very good to get the first one out of the way, though, as he begins his career. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll drop the throw. A short throw taken in by Okonkwo. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. They'll run with Spears. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Four yards the pickup, first down. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game. It's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. Ball resting on the 10-yard line. It's second and one. Back to throw here. And quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Rookie quarterback, rookie running back. They team up there to pick up the first. A chance for their first points of the season here as it's first and goal. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. Here's where we need to see some tenacity from this defense because they've been pushed right down the field on this opening drive. They've got to find some way to push back, and that's a good first step. And they're going to get to him, a sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. Zach Bull coming in hard there on the blitz, and he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. Maybe the first big test of the season here on both sides. This is third and goal. Toward the pylon, caught! Touchdown! 
Quo. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Desperados are on the board here first in the season opener. Excellent start there. First drive of the season. Big-time success putting it in the end zone. And remember, that was done without any real map of how to do it. In other words, the deeper you get into the season, you get game film to work back out there at the line ready for their next drive they were successful last time finding the end zone on their opening drive of the season and they'll get another shot here with a first and ten a throw there but that's going to wind up incomplete Traylon Burks the intended receiver but it'll be second down And now a run with Spears. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. This is what you want to see from a defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand, and forcing a three and out, and giving the ball back to their offense. Taking it about the 36. A nice return that time gets 12 yards back. And that will come the... So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that's going to be incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Now a handoff up the middle. Spears. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? They'll set up the screen for Spears. And boy, he had the marker square in his sights, but a good tackle is going to leave him about a yard or so short. The screen good for six, but it's not enough as it leads to a fourth down. They'll try and run for it. And he's not going to get there. Might have even lost a yard. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Tano passing yo. Credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. They'll look to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And this drive is almost over before it began thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. This offense so far on third down, they've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and forever. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. So after three drives and three touchdowns combined between these two clubs, finally we get a defensive stop. Yes, and welcome to the party, defensive players. And glad to have you because for a while there, it almost felt like it was 11 going downfield on air. Okay, so to be able to have someone come up, make a stop, now we've got a football game going. 35 yards that time on the punt, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. The off All right, after the touchdown, this offense back out there to see what they can do. They'll have a first and 10 at the 25-yard line. They'll look to throw now on first down. He's got the connection to Moore. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. 
And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. 50 yards rushing for him in this first half as he is looking in mid-season form here in the opener. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. Forced out to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. It looks like a 12-yard loss there on the first down sack. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. They'll set up a throw. He'll go up top here for Hamler. He's got it with the 15. And they rattle off a big one. 44 yards. So a good grab there. And here's a guy he had to learn the offense quick. Just picked up as a free agent earlier this week. And usually there's a connection, isn't there? A past coach, someone from the front office who knew him from before and thought that he could help this team. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing in a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. And this carry, despite the good move, will be stopped short of the 10. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Looking to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And that gain of nine buys them a new set of downs. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Colin Saunders gets him for a loss of eight. What great push up front. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Touchdown! Chris Moore from 10 yards out. And the Desperados have got it back to within a score. So this Holy offense thing. will head back out there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. He'll look to throw. Dancing to his left. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Back to throw. Now they go screen. It's complete. Able to get nine out of that pitch and catch, but now third and goal. With all the success they've had throwing the football as a pass rusher, you know you've got to come hard when you see him drop back to throw. So I really like this call to counteract that pass rush with a screen. It turns into positive yardage. A lot of times the offense says, just replace the rusher with the ball, and it turns into a good touchdown. Trevon Wesco. As the first half is winding down, and the Desperados have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. And remember, partner, that's a rookie court. So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. They'll start on the ground with Spears. Gets by him at the 25. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. In motion, the tight end. Right back to Spears. after getting this one across the 40. 75 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. From the 42-yard line, here's second down and one. They're going to look to throw. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Not his best 
nice throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on that. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. And that went good for 16 yards and a first. And they just acquired him a new ball carrier. What do you think of the acquisition? I like it. Maybe not the big-time player, big-time impact you're looking for, but someone who wants to prove something and find a new home. Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. They'll look to throw here. And it's caught. Touchdown. Tajay Spears with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And they're able to add on to their advantage. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You could see that throughout. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurable. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. Just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on, and this one no different as we come up on a first and ten. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula, just keep the ball on the ground, keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. On second down now, Spears. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. That was for the lead right there. They know they're in a position where fortune favors the brave. So they took their shot, but couldn't connect. And they'll send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. After an excellent punt, this offense in a tough spot down inside their own five. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Isaac Yidem in there to pick it. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. The Spears with another carry. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon. And I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. On third down, Spears, and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. 110 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they throw. 
Now with the short pass. There he goes, right side. And he's going to take this all the way down to the Saints 18. A big hitter. That one goes for 40 yards. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. They'll run on first down. Goodson. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15. A gain of three. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Here's a second and seven. Flushed out right. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. So well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. Touchdown! Chris Moore. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Desperados answer back with a touchdown of their own. So now we're in the final minute of the game in the fourth quarter as this offense gets ready to take over. We got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Holding offense. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. They'll try the left side. Spears. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. Second and long, but you got to figure this almost certainly another run. He's going to get it again. He's looking to get forward and protect the ball. The Saints will use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. And just how they envisioned the start of the season, kneeling it down, defense can't stop the clock. This one's a winner. You know it's really strange? I think a lot of people think that the kneel down practice stuff really only happens like one time a week. The best teams I know, they practice starting back in OTAs. They want them to visualize winning a game and how great that feels, and they got it done in this one. Yep, a knee gets them to 1-0. Well, CD, always a little extra excitement for week one, and one of our early window games here in week one on a Sunday comes to a close. Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend. And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. And we know that not everyone's going to start the season 1-0, right? Half the league is going to have a loss on their record. But everyone's got to build off of that opener. And how many coaches tell us every single year, you make your most progress between week one